Hi, in this tutorial I will walk you through the video page. There are quite a few details to learn about, so let's get started. Viralstat gives you the opportunity to view inside statistics of any public video from Facebook, Instagram or YouTube. So it doesn't necessarily have to be your video, but it can be just as well any other out there, like your competitors or any content creators worldwide. So you can search for any video by pasting its URL address in the search field here. Go to any video details from the top video chart or select any from your keyword search result. We'll go with the video from the chart's results today, say this YouTube one here. If you hit the thumbnail, it'll expand and you'll be able to watch the video directly from the charts level without the need of going into the page details. But we're here for that, so let's switch that one off and click on the video title. And it opens. On the top of the page, you'll get the video's details, such as its title, upload date, date added to virals.database. So when we're pulling statistics since tracking type, that by default is standard 24 hour update, the video's duration, category, and type. Further on, you'll see the details of the profile the video is published on. So its name, country, overall subscribers, followers amount up to today, total amount of uploads, overall profile's view count and its type, which can be brand or influencer. Scrolling further down, you'll get the video player and the video description on the left side, then the basic video starts on right. Basic statistics here are the total views count updated in real time, current amount of comments on the video, and likes to dislike ratio if it's a YouTube video like this one. Otherwise, there'll be reaction for Facebook video or likes if it'll be Instagram video page. Better on providing it's a YouTube video page, you can see the video URL's Facebook performance, like how many times this YouTube video was shared on Facebook and how many comments and reaction it gained so far. Just below that, you'll find the video stocks list, again, only for YouTube videos. Let's go back to the player. You can watch the video by clicking the play button here as it is, but you can also expand the player just like that and watch the video on an even bigger screen. You can also go directly to YouTube through the video title, watch it later, or share on your social profiles. Let's minimize it for now, so it'll go back to place, and we'll move on to these three little buttons here. Remember the standard tracking type I mentioned earlier on, and that by default we update video statistics every 24 hours? So this little button here, called Power Tracking, enables you to speed up the update process to every 3 hours, if more detailed statistics are needed. Next button will lead you directly to the video on its hosting platform, and the last one will allow you to add it to any of your folders. Now statistics. Sort the charts and tables by the time frame, which can be changed to any from the selection here, or customized. Then you can group data by the day, week, or month, to divide data on the charts by selected periods, or just leave it to none. Next is the statistic sharing button that allows you to share the link to the exact data you applied on the chart. Bear in mind that by sharing the statistic this way, everyone who obtained your link will be able to view the detailed statistics on the time frame you defined, even unregistered users. You can share basic video statistics by copying the page from the browser or sharing page on your social accounts here. This way, only registered viral stat users we'll be able to view that video page in details. OK, moving on. Here you can set the view of the data to totals or gains. I'll explain the difference in examples. But first, as we're on charts, let's go to the choices available. Each of the managers here can be selected to view the data on the main chart. Further on, you can zoom in any section on the chart and inspect it even closer. Like that. So that's how it looks like it's on the totals view. The values above the chart indicate the cumulative volume of the measured metric acquired by the end of the selected period. Percentage values here represent the growth of the metric within that defined time frame. If we switch to gains view, then this is how it affects the chart. Now the values above graphs indicate the exact volume of measured metric gained at each stage of that defined time frame. This way you can check the exact number of views likes or comments inflow each day, week or month, depending how you group your data here. 
The total and gains view also affect the statistics table below the charts. If it's set to gains, then the data in the table will show the exact acquired amount of the measured metric at each stage of that defined period. If, however, you set your view back to totals, then the data in the table will show cumulative amount of measured metric. If any of the data here is marked in red, then it indicates lost value of that metric. If needed, export the statistic as a CSV file and use accordingly to your requirements. Moving on, below the table, you can find the list of video's recent comments and its trending history. Trending history applies to YouTube videos only and it's the list of every video's appearance in YouTube trends over time, if at all. As we're on the comments now, if it's a YouTube video like the one here, then you can browse the info about comments authors. So if you click here, you'll learn data as authors on channel subscribers count, his uploads amount and channel's totals views. If you'll click on show more, then the list of comments expands to up to 20 most recent results. If you want to track progress of that video, switch to mail alert on. So you can receive its daily, weekly or monthly statistics updates. So that's it for now. I hope this helps you to gain some more information on how you can analyze any video page on the viral stat. Thank you for watching.